Welcome on in, one and all, to the Magic and Mayhem Tacticians Crown Teamfight Tactics at the Esports World Cup. Here it is, 10 portal uh, spawning 5 Radiant items, which uh, is pretty good, and some more Radiant items, which is pretty good, uh, and will absolutely dominate Alan Zeke's board. The last second swap was huge, but it did not fool Spencer. That Ari is on to this Nunu, and the Nunu is falling pretty quickly throughout this round. The CC is coming through from the Shen as well, which is absolutely massive in the Nunu Whoa! falls down. Tremors, though, are huge in slowing down the ramping of each of these backliners. The front line for Spencer has fallen down. The Xerath cast is coming out. The Ari falls down. The last cast from Zoe is not enough. Alan ZQ falls out in that bot four as well. You know it is game over. Yeah, look at this crazy positioning on the other side from Sheltie. The positioning helps the team, helps the multi-strikers gather together to, for the Syndra to absolutely pop off. The Cassidy does fall down, and with it will Enzo, and so we will be going to a game number three. This spot is so doomed. What is this hand-picked What the Forge for some of these units? Two Death Defiances, the Silver Mirror Dawn on this Fiora is so good. The Blighting Jewel also on this Karma, which is the best item for them. Jejusaur is a dead man. Coco needs to turn this into a first or a second, and if they survive this fight, which they won't, that means branching out will not advance. That is the four star. Will this four star be enough to beat some of these really powerful boards? People always ask, where's Soju? When is Soju playing? Where, where in the world is Soju? Is he in this tournament? The answer is usually no, but this time you found him. Syndra is doing so much damage and whoa, that's a lot of Melios. Okay. After cashing out this golden quest, Soju is on the run of a lifetime to secure the 2-0 victory here in the winner's stage, and that will be it. Soju pulling off the miraculous comeback in Vitality with 4-0 in the group stages, not dropping a single game, moving on into the playoffs.